16 of the biggest names in DC Comics, 14 outrageous matchups, nine weeks of challenges, thousands of opinions, and over 300,000 total votes. All of that leading us to this moment, the final matchup of the Injustice Battle Arena. Who will you choose to walk away victorious? Will it be Batman? Will it be Superman? Let's take a look at the long and twisted road that led these two heroes to this ultimate battle. In 1938, the world needed a hero. As World War II loomed ever closer, 24-year-olds Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster finally published a character they had been working on for the past few years. His name? Superman. Touted as the world's first superhero, it was only one year later that 24-year-old Bob Kane introduced a different kind of hero, Batman. Although both characters were owned by the same publisher, it wasn't until 1940 that both characters appeared together on the cover of the 1940s comic, New York World's Fair. Another year would pass until both characters would meet in an actual story, followed by the introduction of Superman and Batman's shared monthly comic, World's Finest. This odd pairing of Savior and Avenger was played out in the Adventures of Superman radio show, starting in 1945. Following their first real clue, Batman and Superman and his guys of Clark Kent race to the entrance of the Hall of Mirrors into which the man with white hair and dark glasses has just disappeared. Will Superman and Batman find Lois Lane in time? Don't miss tomorrow's exciting episode, fellows and girls. Tune in, same time, same station for... The Adventures of Superman! Over the next few decades, the two heroes happily worked together to put an end to villainy and tyranny. They worked so well together that in 1964, they even faced off against themselves as a mutated janitor turned supervillain, composite Superman, combined both of their powers into one crazed character. It wasn't until the 1980s that their friendship took a turn. With the full reboot of characters in history, both Superman and Batman became much more dark and serious. In the seminal 1986 Frank Miller classic, The Dark Knight Returns, an older Batman and Superman face off against each other with near-deadly consequences. This new distrust between them became a mainstay of comics and cartoons for the next few decades, culminating in yet another face-off in Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee's 2003 Batman storyline, Hush. Brainwashed by Poison Ivy, Superman stood his ground against Batman, until Batman pulled out a kryptonite ring and even the odds. Today, these two titans of powers and morality work side by side, each sharing a great deal of respect for the other. Yet underneath it all, both men know that when the inevitable time comes when one or the other needs to be brought down, that is when the friendship ends. We ask acclaimed DC movie writer David S. Goyer what he thinks of this matchup. He had this to say. This is the matchup that's happened in comic books, you know, a million times, animation, hopefully one day on film. Here's my take. If Batman gets the drop on Superman, if he can plan ahead of time, if he can create a kind of killing zone, if he's got kryptonite in his arsenal, then Batman. If Superman gets the drop on Batman, there's no way Batman can win. Batman is paced. So it, it just depends on who gets the drop on who. The battle between these two will always be the greatest matchup of all time. Only one thing is certain, who will walk away and who will be carried away. Only you can determine who will be the Injustice Battle Arena champion. This is it guys, one last vote. One last opportunity to choose who will win. One last chance to get your friends and family to go to injustice.dccomics.com to help your favorite character be our grand champion. This matchup will absolutely be a close one, so every vote counts. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Injustice Game right now. Next week is our live finale where we'll have some surprise special guests, exciting new game footage, and most importantly, where we will announce the winner of the Injustice Battle Arena. It's all in your hands now. You guys know what to do. Oh, you got it. And if you would have asked me about 20 years ago, I think my immediate answer would have been Superman, without a uh, doubt. You know, buy kryptonite off of eBay. Hang on! <laughs> eBay is not...
So there's there's no kryptonite money. category on eBay. 